Welcome to Jamie TV, thank you very much for tuning in. I recently made a video about Chemophon's low cost wireless in-ear monitoring system which really impressed me. If you missed that video, I'll put a link up here. Now Chemophon must have really liked my video because they straight away sent me this. I've not opened the box yet, but I believe that when I do, this is going to be a wireless headset microphone. They've sent it to me for free, but they're not paying me for this video and it's here now. So I've no reason to do anything other than be completely honest with you about it. But a headset microphone, that's completely new territory for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let the cameras roll. And while I have my first pissy pants around with it, we'll discover together. Is it well made? Does it sound good? Is it easy to use? And all the other stuff that you want to know about it. So let's pissy pants about. All right, so I'm wearing the headset and you're hearing the audio from this headset. It's reasonably comfortable to wear, although it's immensely uncomfortable to wear if you try and put a proper set of headphones on. So I'm using some earbuds just so I can hear the audio quality because this is all new and interesting to me too. The audio sounds pretty clean in my headphones. It sounds quite good. There's a little bit of a uh, slight hiss in the background there, which I would expect. The way that this works is this, there's a, a cable that comes from the, the back of the headset that's going down the back of my shirt and then down here if I can just get this into shot in my pocket I have the transmitter um, so the cable from the headset screws onto the transmitter with this nice little collar here um, oh actually before I take that off let me just show you something else this is very nicely easily adjustable so you can try and get a nice compromise between between any kind of popping or uh, a nice strong signal obviously the closer it is to your mouth the better and of course if you need a drink of coffee you can just do that for a moment right now let me just do this because I found in the box there's also a Lavalier microphone which I have attached to my t-shirt here I really shouldn't have worn a black t-shirt because it's not showing up very well but it's right here I just I just attached it on here now I'll just stand up so that I can just show you if I unscrew this this is the sound of the Lavalier microphone, which I think I'm saying correctly, and it's an awful lot quieter because obviously it's a lot further away from my mouth, but on the side of the transmitter, there's a volume, so I can bring that volume up. There are nine different positions on it, just so that you can hear it. Now, I've compared the sound of the two microphones, and they, they sound pretty much the same, but obviously there's always going to be that issue with this kind of microphone that it's a bit far from your mouth. But of course you can also, you can always compensate by turning up the gain on your interface. One of the reasons why I don't do a lot of outdoor recording, aside from the fact that I'm not really a warm weather hippie, is because I don't really have a suitable microphone to do so. But right now, I'm outdoors. I've got the Chemophone wireless in-ear monitoring system and the headset just plugged into my phone. I can show you how I've done that later. And so I can hear this audio. It all sounds pretty good. And it occurs to me I could use this for like, let's say if I was recording a video at a guitar show and I could be picking up instruments and demonstrating completely hands-free. So that's all good. But what we need to know is what's the background noise like on this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug this headset and let's see what the background noise is like with just the, what's it called? With just the iPhone's internal microphone. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how I managed to get both the headset and the in-ear monitoring into my iPhone. The headset comes with this little adapter 
which is intended for getting the headset into your computer and also provides you with a headphone socket. Now, you can of course use this adapter with an iDevice, but it has the wrong kind of connection. My iPhone 12 is a lightning connection. So I used this, a bit big and bulky, not ideal, but it worked. I just plugged the USB into this adapter here and that gives me the lightning connection for my phone. Then into this adapter here, I plug the receiver from the headset into the microphone socket, but then I couldn't get the transmitter for the in-ear monitoring into the headphone socket. So I just used this little cable that comes with the in-ear monitors and then attach this on here. And that worked perfectly, but as you can probably imagine, whilst I was walking through the woods doing some recording, having all of this hanging off of my phone was a little bit awkward, a bit cumbersome. Now, of course, it'd be all right if it was set down and you were doing some recording like that. But to improve this system, I think what I would look to get is to replace this if it'll come out with one of these type of adapters. I've got this little adapter here, which will allow me to use this setup for my iPad Pro because this is a USB to USB-C adapter, which is about a quid off Amazon. And I'm sure you can get one of these that would turn it into a lightning connection. Let's have a look then at what you get for your money when you buy this headset. This is everything that comes in the box. A set of very clear, helpful, thorough instructions, although the text is a little bit small and nobody reads books like that anymore. Now here we have an adapter that is very much, it does the same job as this adapter we were talking about earlier. But this one is for a phone or iPad or whatever that has a stereo mini jack type input. And so you have a connector here for headphones and one for the receiver from the headset or indeed receiver from the Lavalier mic, which is here. Now this microphone, there's not a lot to say about it really. Um, it has the same kind of connection on this end as the headset does. So when you connect it into the transmitter, it has a little collar here, which screws on nice and tight. And at this end, it has a nice sturdy clip to clip onto your clothes, lapel, collar, or whatever. Now then, over here, we have a clip to attach the if I get it the right way up, to attach the transmitter onto your belt, which is nice and sturdy. We've got some spare windshields or pop shields or whatever you want to call them in this bag here. You've got an adapter that will turn the receiver from the mini jack size to a standard quarter inch jack size. This is how I use this when I'm plugging it into my interface for recording into my iPad or computer. Then we have, let's see, ah, yes, this is the charger cable. This is one USB connection uh, to two little adapters that plug into the sides of the transmitter and receiver. The transmitter and receiver light up like this when you switch them on so that you can see that they are connected. I've switched that the wrong way. There we go. Right, so they both flash blue and then they light up solid once they're connected to each other. And when they're on charge, they are glowing red. Now, what else do we have? We This is the headset over here, of course, which I've found to be reasonably comfortable to wear. This is very, very adjustable and it feels sturdy here. This this joint here is nice and sturdy feeling. Um, not really much more to say about it than that. This end here, of course, has the collar, just like I just showed you on the Lavalier microphone. We're getting a bit messy here. Look at this. I just need to do this. Let's see if there's anything I've missed. No, I don't think there is. 
Overall then, what do I think to this product? Well, I'm still wearing the headset now, I'm talking to you on it now, and I hope that's an indication of the fact that I've enjoyed using it, and I rate it. I have no experience of headset microphones, so all I can tell you is, to me, it sounds clear and crisp, it's comfortable to wear, it's pretty sturdily made, and I really like the fact that in the box, Chemophone have put a lot of thought in, just like they did with the in-ear monitoring system, for different use cases, you know, they've provided suitable adapters and cables, etc. At the price point, I don't think you can fault it. Now, the inclusion of a Lavalier microphone, I don't really have a use case for it, but I have tested it, and the microphone does sound very much like this one, but you do have to boost the gain an awful lot on it because of just how you wear that kind of microphone. So overall, I'm gonna give this package a stupid old hippie thumbs up, I highly recommend it. But I do have to just warn you about something, and that is 2.4G wireless. Now this is in no way a criticism of Chemophon, because I have some other 2.4G wireless system stuff that I only ever really use on gigs. But I've had that out in here and experimented with it, and I found that this is a problem across the board with 2.4G. So, explanation, right. So, I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if whilst I'm live streaming, I could wear the headset and I could use the in-ear monitoring system, and then I would be completely wireless. So, whilst I'm live streaming, I would be able to move about the studio, pick up guitars, and just get more out of the studio rather than being rooted to this spot. But no, because when they're both switched on, they start cancelling each other out. Just like my XVIV wireless U2 system or my XVIV U4 system, they all do it. And it seems to be really, because I was quite naive about this, so I've done it, even though I was using 2.4G systems, I was quite naive about it. So I've done a little bit of research about it, and I've found that it's to do with the Wi Fi in here. So when I set off from here to have a wander with the headset and the in-ear monitoring, as soon as I got out of the range of the Wi-Fi in the studio, they worked flawlessly together. But in here, it's a no. So I just wanted to mention that. it's it, I, I don't know exactly what the problem is, but it's something to do with the Wi-Fi, just in case you were thinking of getting set up in a similar way. Okay, so I hope this video has been reasonably helpful to someone out there. I hope that um, you liked it. And if you did, if it was useful, then please do feel free to give me a thumb up. If you haven't done already, please do subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified of further nonsense from me, please do ding my bell. If you want to know more about me, there's all kinds of links, all my Patreon, merchandise, website, all that stuff down below the video, and ways that you can help out the channel. So until next time, please take care of yourselves, be good people, make lots of music, and don't piss your pants about. See you later.